How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. As you know, tax season is coming up and for your office workers, especially your accountants out there doing taxes, you're gonna be working out a lot, working on your desk a lot, filing those taxes, helping everyone with tax returns. And you're gonna be rounding your back a lot, so your back may be a bit tight, feeling a lot of tension. I know I have because I was in accounting before, so my back is kind of tight. So you wanna relieve that pain, right? You want to strengthen the rhomboids. So they're gonna help your posture. You wanna look up nice and confident, sitting up nice and tall, standing up nice and tall with a nice straight back. You want to strengthen those rhomboids and loosen up those traps, loosen up all these back muscles. So I got five exercises for you that you can do every day to help loosen up those muscles and strengthen them so then you don't feel the tension, you don't feel the pain, and tax season, because it's something that will really stress you out, you're gonna be seated all the time and you're gonna tend to hunch over. So with this routine, it'll help you free from all that, and free from all that stress and the weight on your back, those underactive muscles won't be pulling you down. You'll feel stress-free. Stress-free, your mind will be okay because your body is okay as well. So, there are five exercises that you can do. Let's get right into it. So let's start with some simple cat cows, cat camels. So you want to be on your knees, take deep breaths, round your back, and then exhale, arch your back. You want to tense up your upper back, your rhomboids, your traps, so then you really get those tiny muscles. Inhale, exhale. So I like to do about 15 of these and that will really help loosen it up because that will get the tiny muscles. The really tiny muscles that will help support your back and improve your posture. Loosen up those tiny rhomboids, those tiny traps. You know, they can be huge as well, but you want to loosen them up. Those minor muscles. Keep going. Taking deep breaths. The more the better because it's a long period of time, you want to loosen it up. The one I just did was the one of the forms flat that'll get more in the tiny muscles, the one near the mid back. This will get the overall back and the traps area and the rhomboids, but same concept. You want to round your back, inhale and exhale, arch your back. And 15 of these is good, but obviously the more the better because you've been sitting on the desk, rounding your back all day, eight hours a day or even longer. So the more the better to help loosen it up. And now it's like a thread the needle kind of motion, except we're not putting our arm all the way through. Cause I find this, if you have less mobility, you can help increase the mobility by just tensing up your back as you lift your head up and your arm up. And then as you try to dip through under your arm, you can really tense it up again and it'll get those tiny muscles. Having your hand behind your head will help get those tiny muscles help activate it by the rhomboids so you want to strengthen that so this I like to go 15 per side tense up your back as you lift up and then go down and tense up your back as you try to dip through try to get under your arm try to get your elbow under your arm and then you switch to the other side the same thing tense up your back as you come up and then come down the slower the better because it will really help with getting those tiny muscles. You don't want too fast, I'm doing moderate pace so you can see, but slow motion, they'll really get those tiny muscles. So again, tense up your back as you come up and tense up your back as you try to dip through, try to feed your elbow through under that other arm. 
the other arm is flat on the floor, as you can see. So keep going, do at least 15 per side. You want to do as many as you can, so that way you can help strengthen those tiny muscles. Now we're moving to our scapular push-ups because this will help strengthen those mid-back muscles, the rhomboids that I keep mentioning, and the traps. So just tiny movements. It's not a full push-up. You're letting your body sink down by pulling back your shoulder blades and then pushing it back up. So again, 15 of these is good. Pull back your shoulder blades and then push back up. Tiny movements. So moderate pace or slow pace is better because you want to activate those tiny muscles. Get those very tiny muscles. Let it all loose. So deep breaths as you do this, like the cat cows, the cat camels. Obviously more reps the better because we've been sitting all day as I mentioned before so you want to loosen it all up. Ending with the rhomboid stretch. You want to cross your elbows like that and then lean down, pull your shoulders forward, hold it for a bit, 10 to 15 seconds. You really want to stretch out those tiny muscles. And then after the 10 to 15 seconds, obviously the longer the better. You can switch it up by putting the other arm on top. Cross it over. And you want to pull your shoulder blades and lean down again. Pull your shoulder blades forward, pull your shoulders forward so you feel a tiny stretch. But you'll feel a deep stretch. So pull those shoulders forward. You want to stretch out those rhomboids. Now ending with a wall angel, you want to have your back straight against a wall and then perform shoulder press, but with your arms, just up and down, down by your ears, your hands by your ears and reach all the way up as high as you can. Try to have your back as straight as you can against the wall or near the wall. That way it will really help strengthen those muscles. So those are five exercises you can do. Try this routine every day. Stretch out your back. You don't want to be hunched over. You don't want to be looking old while you're still in your youth or you're still nice and young because it doesn't feel good, okay? You don't want to be hurting your back, hunching over all the time. Those traps, those rhomboids, yeah. It's gonna be very tight for all tension when you're sitting all day. Use a stand-up desk. I know I do, so that's a really good solution. So along with that, and those routines, the five exercises that you can do every day, try them out to really loosen on your back. My name is Carrick, I'm making videos on working out and cooking all the time, and also videos like these to help you with these problems like this, or help more you. So make sure you subscribe for good things like that, and I'll see you in the next video.